you had the disease, you still had to get a vaccine. That's powerful, stupid. They don't do that in Europe. I think well, they do that here. You're, there's mandatory vaccination in grade in schools. Right, but if you MMRs. already but if you already had the disease, you have natural immunity. We didn't see that. Was, we didn't, that, that we was, didn't seem that was, to believe in that. That was here. debunked, though. I mean, that was that, that's I mean, not debunked. I, don't no. you know people have had COVID four or five times? I do. That's yeah. not natural immunity. There's no immunity there. You've had COVID five times. Probably because you had too many vaccines. Well, yeah, let's talk about Seth MacFarlane. Seth MacFarlane had stones of steel, bro. It, like, it is true that this man made problematic comedy back in the day. Yeah. But it was, dude, he went for it. This dude always swung for the fences. Like, I was thinking about this. I was like, what's the most problematic thing that they ever aired on Family Guy? And I know one that a lot of people will go to is when they made fun of Sarah Palin's son with Down syndrome. That was oh, pretty yeah. bad. That was pretty bad. They like I don't know the what's the son's name in uh is it like Chris or something? What's the guy goes on a date with uh like a woman with Down syndrome on one of the episodes, and then she's like, "Yeah, my dad's an accountant and my mom's the governor of Alaska." And it's <laughs> hilarious, but it's also like, "Damn, dude, you could not do that today on like regular ass cable television." Anyway, point is, despite how edgy Seth MacFarlane's comedy is or at least was his politics are actually kind of just like normie dim sort of like, you know, take the vaccine and, and stuff like that, which I mean, he has you millions know, of dollars. It checks out. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Uh, but I just think sometimes people are surprised that he's not like some weirdo reactionary, right? You know, you, you might expect someone with that sense of humor to have a bit less of a kind of normie sense of politics, but either way, it made for a great exchange here on Bill Maher where they get a bit into the vaccine stuff. And I'm not even really hugely into the vaccine stuff. You guys know that when all of that debate was popping off, Zach and I kind of just stayed out of it and we're like, you know, I'm, I don't really feel comfortable uh, giving people medical advice. Oh, don't lie, Gavin. You got the Fauci ouchie. <laughs> For sure. That's what I mean, though. I'm just like, yeah, I'm going to do what my uh, doctor told me. Anyway, the point is, uh, I thought this was interesting because you can really tell how much of this weird, like reactionary conspiratorial gobbledygook has gotten into bill maher's brain and to see seth mcfarland just kind of effortlessly brush it aside here i i thought was pretty satisfying again even though i'm not particularly invested in this it was pretty funny just to see how many of these arguments that bill maher has like absorbed do not stand up to scrutiny whatsoever even just from like a total normie like seth mcfarland is wrong about so much well, and well, very often, right about a lot too. And ver yes, and but very often people who aren't doctors have been righter about things. Um, like, 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 what would be an example of that? I would think uh, this country did not allow for um, uh, natural Herd immunity, immunity. Hmm? to be considered. And I know this is fucking a dumbass. subject dear to your heart. Yes. Like, even if what's with this fucking camera angle too? They like got a camera hiding behind the fucking wall. They were like, just in case Bill starts to say anything <laughs> fucking retarded, we're gonna get hide the angle. <laughs> if you had the disease, you still had to get a vaccine. That's powerful, stupid. They don't do that in Europe. I think, well, they do that here. You're, there's mandatory vaccination in grade in schools. Right, but if MMRs. you already, but if you already had the disease, you have natural immunity. We didn't see that. Was, we didn't, that, that we was, didn't seem that was, to believe in that. That was here. debunked, though. I mean, that was that, that's I mean, not debunked. Don't no. you know people have had COVID four or five times? I do. That's yeah. not natural immunity. There's no immunity there. You've had COVID five times. Probably because you had too many vaccines. I didn't have COVID. The, the, I can't. I can't take it. Ah, oh, yeah, the vaccine gave him COVID five times. Yeah, that's what I heard. I've been tuning into the Joe Rogan podcast. He's a smart guy. Yeah, dude. It's like when people say, like, "Oh, ever since the ever since the vaccine got rolled out, people have been like dropping dead in, in unprecedented numbers." And it's like you don't think that's because of fucking COVID, not the vaccine itself. Like, pretty sure if people are dying more often now, it's because they probably got COVID once or twice or thrice, not because they took the vaccine to protect themselves from that shit. <laughs> did you? Did the vaccine gave you COVID? Uh. Well, that's certainly nothing unscientific about the fact that the vaccine, which does weaken you in order to strengthen you. So as do all vaccines. Exactly. Yeah. But <laughs> while you're in a weakened state. He's walking yes, like a dog. That's why so many people like me got it, did not have it while the thing was raging and I was taking zero precautions because I was never that afraid of it. But that's anecdotal. Like, okay, I've had yeah, every booster oh, there is uh, Anecdotal that, yeah. And I have never had COVID. 
I get a flu shot once a year. I haven't had the flu in 20 years. Right. Well, I haven't eaten. I don't get a flu shot. Okay. So, so th this is all anecdotal. Right. But but right. But, but you know the difference between anecdotal and and statistical. I do. And and, I'm, and statistically, you still you still have a 90 percent better chance of not being hospitalized, not dying if you're vaccinated. Oh, okay. that, well, that, but that's assuming all people are alike, and that is one of the giant fallacies in your way of thinking. We are not all alike. Yes, I would yeah, recommend and I'm have not recommended like the, the COVID. <laughs> yeah, these pores and fats over there, that's not me, pal. I'm with the rich and the skinny over here. We're going to be just fine. <gasps> yeah, dude, also, what's with this line of bullshit that people had to get the fucking vaccine? Like, no one ever showed up to my door and told me I had to take the vaccine. I, I get that some people, if you worked at a specific job, and it was like your employer wants there to be a vaccine mandate, then you got to do what your employer says. But like no one had to take the vaccine. You could quit your job and find another one. You know what I mean? Like if you were really so opposed to taking the fucking vaccine, no one showed up to your door with a gun and a needle. I'm sorry. It just didn't happen. And this is coming from Bill Maher's number one stand, Gavin Miller Broomfield. OK, <laughs> raised on the comedy genius of Bill Maher. With vaccine for the high risk people. Like if you're 90 or fat, get it. Absolutely. You need it. Some people don't. But you had Djokovic <laughs> didn't need it. But you had Aaron Rodgers didn't need it. But you had something like 1,900 kids who died of COVID during no, the pandemic. No, I don't think that's right. The New York how, many, how many of them died from the vaccine? None. The, the New York. And, and, and the, the thinking there is that, well, probably most kids are not going to die from COVID. So why bother with the vaccine? Because it's only going to be a few hundred kids, right? I don't know how many kids died. Um, that seems very high this, to me. I, I know at, at one point the New York Times grossly, talking about misinformation, they had to apologize. They got it completely wrong. She reported something like 900,000 children have been hospitalized, and it was like 63,000. So maybe those facts should be Paper, checked. Papers can get it wrong, and they print retractions, and, also, and you know the, this. But also... The, with COVID or from COVID? Did 1,900 children die with COVID? Yes, it's a whole different story. Okay, but take 7 million people worldwide. 7 million people worldwide who died from COVID. Like, if if even just a fraction of that is, and, and it's probably a larger fraction who died of COVID than who died with COVID, even, if even just a fraction of that is, that's still a lot of fucking people. That's a lot of fucking people. Yes, and... But what? <laughs> okay, you know, but, so that's, some, but that's some people. Seven million people. Do you see how it's really easy to argue with somebody who's not in the room? Because what he will do is, it's actually a really common rhetorical technique that once you get down, like Gavin and I used to sit back and we used to be like, how do people do podcasts by themselves for so long? How do people just sit and go on for mm -hmm. so long? Well, you learn one really simple rhetorical technique and you start asking yourself a question so you'll say how many people really died from covid who were children not that many not that many i've heard people say it was as low as blank do you know what they're saying in the papers they're saying it's way more than that in the papers but how many was it really why would they be saying that in the papers if this is the way that it is is it because Big Pharma wants to make more money? They want you to be afraid. They want you to be hooked on their vaccines. And they've got the government in their pocket, right? They've got their lobbyists. They've got all see how it's really easy to do that if you have absolutely no pushback. And see how he flounders the second that there's somebody there to say, well, what about this? Well, I know that there were 7 million people that died globally of COVID. So I'll give you that maybe half of them died with COVID, but that's still 3 million people globally. That is a huge fucking pandemic. That's beyond whatever we've ever seen. Uh, in the past, right, or at least within like the past hundred years, this, I mean, you know, this is SARS on another scale. Like you could, I mean, that's our closest comparison for the millennia, right? And uh, it just immediately, it all starts to fall apart. And he's like, I never got vaccinated and I'm fine. And he's like, well, I got vaccinated a bunch of times and I'm fine. Let's look at science instead of like our own fucking backgrounds. <laughs> where we're two rich guys that can go to the doctor whenever we fucking want to. <gasps> Yeah, dude, it's so crazy, too, given that Bill Maher's whole shtick is like, you know, science and skepticism. And here he is sounding like a fucking crackpot trying to remember whatever Joe Rogan or Jimmy Dore said two weeks ago to justify his line of bullshit, which is crumbling before everyone's eyes under the slightest amount of pressure from fucking Seth MacFarlane. Seth MacFarlane, of all people, we're not talking about some academic or some medical professional here. We're talking about 
the family guy dude um and he's just like yeah that that doesn't seem quite accurate um <laughs> pretty hilarious stuff and it's also funny to see uh bill maher like reaching for these increasingly like desperate reactionary talking points to justify this as seth pushes back uh and, and you're just getting some real insight into the kind of people that bill maher has been listening to and the kind of information that he has been receiving uh because again these talking points it's not like these are his original thoughts no he's repeating shit that he heard joe rogan or someone like joe rogan say Yep. Things are, and you cannot prevent that. You, you can, though. I mean, you 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 can prevent. At what cost? But what's the, the yes, cost of yes, getting a vaccine? What what's why is why what's well the, the fact that you don't the, the fact that you don't even have a clue what's the cost of getting a vaccine that oh, you don't know the that? answer to that. <laughs> No, you're, 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 you, you completely want to shut your eyes to the fact that there are repercussions to all medical interventions, inclu including a vaccine. All vaccines, they come, they say so. So then why is this the one you're so obsessed with if all medical interventions have consequences? Which, yeah, of course that's true. You could literally have a bad reaction to aspirin. There are people out there, myself included, who cannot take aspirin uh, because I have a, a reaction to it. It's one of the only allergies I actually have. In the same way, yeah, obviously. Obviously, there's some people that can't take the fucking COVID vaccine, and there's some people that can't take the measles vaccine or the chicken pox vaccine. Um, but you don't see Bill Maher devoting entire segments where he like hyper fixates on the folks who got a side effect from taking the measles shot. And now he's acting like the whole country is being oppressed and under authoritarian rule because of the fact that that was pushed on the populace. I like, guarantee you. Yeah. He yeah. would five years ago, he would have been making jokes about. Gwyneth Paltrow and the goop and like how they're anti-science and they're nerds into a uh, fucking uh, Carolina boys point. I remember Mar used to dunk on the right for being anti-science by trying to teach uh, creationism in schools. And now he's being the equivalent of a creationist on COVID 100%. That's a perfect analogy, Carolina boy. And I think it's a byproduct of what like people in the chat get so mad at me when I say this, I'm not saying it about everyone, but I also think this is true. I think this is what happens to your brain when you get older. You're more <laughs> susceptible to things like this kind of misinformation, bro. I spent time with my, I spent time with my grandparents over, uh like christmas time i spend time with my dad I'll, you know and whenever we i'm like you people are get like married to like a specific way of thinking right and my, and my dad's pretty good at being open-minded but like you, you know you've talked about this when you reach like a certain age like once you're in your like 60s or 70s you know my dad's not quite there yet uh like you know you're talking like if i'm talking to my grandpa specifically it's like that motherfucker's not changing his mind but yeah. i also know that he's just repeating what he heard somewhere else and he was like that sounds good that sounds right like you know what i mean like not in a bad way like he's being a plagiarist but it's just like that's what he's exposed to right like you start to live a little bit more like in your own bubble you don't get as you age like obviously there are some people who actively choose to not live that way but i just think that if you're a rich removed asshole and all your other buddies are rich removed assholes you start listening to the same podcast regimen and all of a sudden vaccines aren't real and we should all go on the carnivore diet like i just think that that's where it's headed yeah yeah and it's totally wild to see someone like bill maher who again has always just been sort of like a normie liberal like you know i mean he, he definitely had his edgy phase where he was doing the whole politically incorrect shtick but like when it actually came down to his politics He's always been kind of an enorm a kind of a normie like establishment democrat kind of a commentator. He's never been a huge radical. I mean, as about as radical as he got was endorsing Bernie Sanders in 2016 and being like, "Yeah, this guy is making some good points." And maybe we do need health care for all. Like that's about as radical as Bill Maher ever got. So, it is really bizarre to me to see even people like Maher going down these rabbit holes. Now, hopefully after this conversation potentially he wakes up a little bit and realizes that he's been fed a lot of bullshit about the vaccine um but yeah dude it's just it's just wild to see even folks like bill maher kind of slip into this it affects just like every medication does sure. you can see it in the literature they can't write it on the back you know on the vaccine so you have to dig them and and of course there is a vaccine court because so many people have been injured this is not a screed to say don't do vaccines i'm not against doing vaccines i'm against doing vaccines that i don't think i need i should be able to decide that for myself inside my body uh that's how it is bro just like with the flu shot. That's literally how it is. No one's making you get a flu shot. And in the same way, no one's making you get a fucking COVID booster. You don't have to do that. No one's pressured me at all this flu season to get a flu shot. And I haven't heard anyone, you know, tell me to get a fucking COVID shot since the actual pandemic. Like when it was, you know, we were in lockdown and stuff like that. 
Um, I just don't know who even is pushing it on you other than like when you're watching the freaking football game and that stupid Travis Kelsey commercial comes on and it's like two things at once. You can get the flu shot and the COVID vaccine. Like that's about the extent of the the pressure. It's just like a commercial you see on TV. Like reminder, the new booster is available. Go get it if you need to. Travis How is that authoritarian? Kelsey wept up in a fucking deep psyop that up. Uh, it's- I, I guarantee you, they got Taylor Swift on it. They said, listen, bro, if you become our number one asset in promoting the vaccine, the Fauci, ouchy, the jab, we'll make your girlfriend Taylor Swift and you'll be the most famous man in America and everybody will adore you. And he was like, all right, government. That sounds like a great plan. Well, I'm also going to need another $100 million because I've been a team player my entire career as a world-class tight end and I've never demanded the full salary compensation that I, I, I could have. 